So today's project is uh, taking apart the Nissan Leaf battery I bought about a week and a half ago or so. So these are going to be used to uh, power, hopefully power the RV through an inverter and charger and through uh, solar and stuff like that. So here's a look at the battery pack right now. Um, so these, this is what I bought about a week and a half ago. I had it shipped from California. Um, I'm going to take it apart today and see what the condition of the cells are, take some ve uh, voltage measurements and stuff like that. So I'll be pulling it apart and uh, I've heard it's quite a bit of effort. I've watched a couple videos on how to pull these apart, so I'm going to give it a go today. So that's the project. Apart. Um, it was pretty hard. I initially started um, with this little putty knife and I was going around trying to cut the, uh, there's a pretty thick seal of glue surrounding the whole thing. So initially I used that, but then I moved on to, uh, to a bigger one. I didn't really care about the top and I had seen one of these taken apart before so I knew I had quite a bit of clearance on all the sides. So I used these two and that went a little faster, but it took me about about three hours to open it to this point. So this is the inside of a Nissan LEAF battery. So in here are 48 modules. Um, each one of these modules has two lithium cells in series and two lithium cells in parallel. So each one is a maximum of 8.4 volts um, at 60, uh, 60 amp hours. So um, they are fairly large batteries. Um, the whole thing put together uh, should be right around 24 kilowatt hours. So it's 360 volts. So we've got to be careful taking it apart. So that's the next part. I'm going to be wrapping my tools uh, tape uh, just to be sure that you know we don't accidentally drop a tool in there and short some of this stuff out. Most of the cells are very well protected with this bright orange uh, plastic covering. So we should be pretty safe, but we've I've seen a couple of videos on how to take this apart, so we're going to give it a go. This is uh, part one. Some preliminary readings here. So I'm just going to strip this back real quick and expose some of these. So this should read right at about 4 volts. If it's full, or close to full, 4 volts. And then across the two leads, we should get about 8 volts. Yep. So here we'll check the second one down real quick. Here, boom, eight volts, good. Four across the center, and four across the other one. Yep, so those look good. Check another couple just to spot check a few of them. So here, 
here. Should have about 8 volts. Yep. Down here. 8 volts. Good. So we checked about 4 of the cells just to kind of do a small spot check on them. And they look like they are 8 volts. Like I said, none of them look swollen. So I think we're looking good.